Okay everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be looking at improving this render distance just like this. Okay, we're going to be getting rid of all that fog so we can see a little bit further. This method requires no mods, no downloads. It just requires a simple uh, file options change. So we need to go into a file and do some settings changes. So we'll show you that at the end of today's video, how to do that. Uh, but first, let's have a look at uh, a little view distance montage. Now, what I've decided to do is uh, go to the standard setting, which is 236. This is kind of the maximum that you can get without changing any settings. And uh, we'll go through and add on 100 for each of these uh, different settings. So if you look really carefully, you can see each time we go up by 100, we're getting a little bit more distance in the background. Some of those trees, some of those mountains, and a little bit more of that ocean popping into distance each time. Now, something to really focus on in the very top left there, we have the frames per second uh, that we're running this in. Now, I am using screen recording software as well, which pushes things a little bit further, but you'll notice each time that uh, frame rate's coming down from 120, uh, where it starts off, and it's coming right down. Now, at the end of this, this does end, spoiler alert, with the computer crashing, and uh, we're getting closer and closer now. The lower that frame rate gets, the more likely it is the computer might crash. You'll all be running different uh, setup, so it could happen a little bit earlier and we'll talk about how to avoid that later on But as you can see we can see miles into the distance now. There's loads of stuff popping in there um, That was just nowhere near at the start uh, Which is good uh, frame rates getting down into the Teens now, which is a little bit scary. Uh, I don't know how much further we're gonna be able to go uh, 1536 on the render distance and finally, this is going to be the last one, I think. 1636 on the render distance, and the frame rate's going down to 13, 14, 13, and it's frozen. Yeah, and the computer crashed at 1636 for the view distance there. Now, let's have a look at uh, going from 1636 on the render distance down to. Uh, where we started off, 236, a big difference. And that fog in this new version has really been a difficulty. So here's a way to get uh, get around it. First of all, let's try just moving around a little bit. Let's, um, you know, roam around. I've changed the render distance to 636 for this one. And um, I think that's kind of a good middle ground. It's kind of in between um, the standard and where it crashed and see if we can roam around. Uh, we're getting 90 frames per second, which is totally respectable with a screen recorder going on. And yeah, we're just roaming around, seeing how it all goes. It all seems to work fine. And um, yeah, we can see for miles, which is good. And if you are in creative and you want to spot certain elements, maybe um, pirate ships or whatever, we can do that. Right, changing the render distance. How do we do it? So open your file explorer, go to this PC. Uh, go to your C drive and to users and to whoever installed Minecraft Education Edition, App Data, Roaming, Minecraft Education Edition, and Games, com.mojang, then down to Minecraft PE, Pocket Edition, and they open up the options, text document there, and go down to GFX View Distance. I've been calling it render distance, it's view distance, I don't know, it's kind of the same. So I think it starts off around 236, um, and ours got up to around 1500 before it started getting a bit janky, and 600's a good middle one. Um, I would start by changing yours to 400, and then file save and see how you get on from there. And if your computer can handle it, uh, then fair play, just move it up incrementally from there. Buy a t-shirt please. I've partnered up with this amazing company called Into The AM who make these incredible graphic tees. I've reached out to them because I already love their shirts but they give me this opportunity to share it with all you guys on this channel. Follow the link in the description below for 10% off. Head over to the website and check out some of the other amazing designs that they've got. 
This is definitely the best way to support this channel, look stylish and save a bit of money while you're at it, so check it out right now. Okay, so that takes us to the end of this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I did find that in 1.18, which is the new beta that we're still running, that the view distance just seemed a lot lower than it used to. Um, I've been Googling it and I think some people agree with that, um, but there's a lot of information about it being even lower uh, in servers. And um, look, if you've got a computer that can handle it, go ahead, go into that dot options file and start changing uh, that view distance, increasing it slightly and seeing if you can get it running at a little bit more of a respectable distance to make your game a lot more enjoyable and you are playing it. Now, we're going to have to finish up the video there and move on. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Check out the t-shirts. It really, really does help uh, me and the channel, so I appreciate that. And I will see you all next week.